Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I don't look like I crawled out of a cave for the first time in literally two months. So you know what? We're about to film a little Q&A. Now, this is not gonna just be like a regular Q&A because as y'all know, I am a mother no drama. I'm about to be a mother. <laughs> that just doesn't even sound right coming out of my mouth right now. Um, it still doesn't feel like super real. I mean the puking my hair falling out. That's all very much real We're gonna be getting into the nitty-gritty just because like first of all, let me take a, a motherfucking breath I've already tried to film this video for like a week, maybe two weeks and I will just lose my breath I cannot talk for more than like 15 minutes without feeling like I'm about to pass out on the floor But today I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty hype. Um, I got my weave in um, My hair is like falling out right now. Thanks to baby So we're making up for it with some extensions some weave I'm literally yelling in here and I'm pretty sure like everyone outside can just hear me screeching Hope you guys are enjoying the show you guys get the video before everyone else <laughs> But I asked you guys on Instagram to leave me some pregnancy related questions and I thought okay There's gonna be like 10 people that ask something cuz like who cares, but y'all have left me hundreds of questions One of them are the same y'all like I Have never had this problem <laughs> Like I did not think that so many people were gonna actually like leave a response So as we all know, like I said, I'm pregnant. Um, I'm four months pregnant. I have five months to go So I'm almost halfway done, which is pretty cool how time has just been flying I can find out the gender of my baby actually this week. So I'm a little excited about that I'm kind of nervous part of me wanted to do like a gender neutral room and just like, you know When the baby comes out find out but knowing me I'm impatient. I'm not gonna be able to wait that long so I'm I'm probably gonna be able to find out this week and I'm gonna do a whole vlog and everything Then of course I'm gonna do a gender reveal in a couple of weeks for you guys I just want to do something in like my backyard and like live stream it possibly or record it for like the family This video I feel like is gonna be a little different because usually when you see girls like make these videos are very like Oh my god, like I'm enjoying my pregnancy. Like I love it. Like this has been great No, it hasn't been great at all. Like I said, I have been feeling like I have been dead Like I don't even feel like myself. I feel like a zombie. So this video is gonna be very real very honest not cookie cutter at all. I'm not gonna say and be like, oh my god, like I farted, like it was cute. No, bitch, like I shit myself. <laughs> Let's just get into it. But before we do, a message from our sponsors. So it feels like these days the only type of shopping we're doing is online. So that's where today's sponsor, Honey, comes in. Honey is a free browser extension that basically scores the internet for promo codes and discounts while you're in your checkout. I'll actually show you guys here right now how it works. You get this for free on your computer and it takes about two clicks to download. While you're checking out on over 30,000 supported websites, Honey will pop up and all you have to do is click apply coupons and they'll basically start searching for any sort of discounts that they can get for you. Then if Honey finds a working code, you will literally see the price drop. My favorite website to use Honey on is Sephora. I've mentioned this in the past. This is also not the first time I have brought up Honey before. You guys know I love this extension. I'm all about saving a buck. I've been able to save sometimes $50, $75 on like a $200 order and that's like getting free makeup basically. Honey supports all kind of realtors from food delivery, tech, gaming, fashion. So basically y'all, it is simple. If you have a computer, Honey should be on it. It's free and it works with whatever browser you use. Make sure you guys go ahead and download it and go to joinhoney.com slash Vanessa so they know that I sent you guys. Thank you so much, Honey, for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so let's get into these questions. You guys, like I said, left literally hundreds, so we're just gonna like fly through these. I don't know how long this video is gonna be. If it ends up being like 35 minutes long, I'm sorry, but like today's the day that I wanna open my mouth. So the first question is, any super weird food cravings? Yes, yes, yes. So in the beginning of my pregnancy, I was craving pickles a lot, but that went away after like a couple of weeks. And now, right now, I'm craving nothing but s'mores. Like the actual like graham cracker, um, marshmallow, bitch, I forgot how to make a s'more. I can eat like five to 10 of those in one sitting, and that might happen like two to three times a day. I don't know what happened. My sweet tooth is activated, which is also really weird because in the beginning of my pregnancy, I hated chocolate. I just could not get any chocolate down like or just eat any at all like the thought of it made me want to puke I guess another really big craving which I feel like I'm probably not supposed to be having like so many spicy foods and stuff but I cannot stop dipping stuff in a buffalo sauce but I feel like I'm probably not supposed to be doing all that because like sometimes my stomach be feeling some sort of way and the baby be you know moving a little bit so he's probably telling me like mom can you not have you had any discomfort and were you ready for baby excuse me that was baby saying hi I'm here burp yes I've been having discomfort every single day 
Um, I'm in my second trimester now and probably within like the past like four weeks, three weeks, it's been like the most intense discomfort. Right now I'm 17 weeks, so I'm about to enter 18 by the time you guys see this video. But like this baby has been growing, growing, growing. It's just been growing. Like I went from being on that flat, flat to like that pooch, pooch. So there's been a lot of discomfort. Yes, you can actually feel like something is growing inside of you. You're not gonna feel like of course the trash comes. Let me go step outside so they can pick me up. They're bougie here. They actually get off of the truck and they pick all your stuff up and throw it away. In my last neighborhood, if something fell on the floor, they're gonna leave it there. Like they don't care if cockroaches come. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely been a lot of discomfort. It's called round ligament pain, I believe. And it's just basically in like the lower like area by like my uterus, like down there basically. As for were you ready for a baby? Girl, what you think the answer to that is? What do you think? No, I know I'm 24 years old and like at this age like when I was in high school a lot of people started having kids right afterwards And I was like, okay, haha, you guys are fun. You guys are crazy Like have fun with your family though. Like I'm not doing all that and still at like 24 I was like, okay, like, you know, I'm still young Like I mean I was 23 when I found out I was pregnant Just the idea of me being a mother and like passing on all my like trauma to someone else just doesn't feel right Like seeing that like that kind of happened to me growing up I just had this idea of like, okay, I'm probably not gonna have kids like at all I'm gonna be that like cool rich auntie I don't know where the rich is gonna come from like maybe the money will fall out of the sky like I want to be that rich cool auntie that just like travels like I love how I'm saying this as if I don't have Anthony which also like a lot of people in the questions were asking they're like okay but who's the daddy like LMAO like who's the daddy y'all are really trying to play with me huh Anthony is the father I mean if it's not him I don't know who else but no we were definitely not ready for a baby just because we were you know about to move here like we moved to Vegas for the purpose of like you know having more fun and just like being crazy and wild obviously I know we're in a panoramic or whatever eventually it's going to end so I figured you know like during the time of our panoramic I'd be able to you know fix my house up have everything set and then by the time we're able to actually like live life again then like everything's done and then you know in the process of buying the house I find out I'm pregnant and I'm like oh never mind who was the first person you told? The first person I told was Marcus. Um, I tell Marcus everything first. He's my best friend, which by the way, you guys, he finally started a YouTube channel. This is my best friend, okay? This is my best friend. This is like the only person I trust in this world aside from my mom and Anthony. If you guys can go and support his channel, it's Mark Kizzle. I will go ahead and put his link in the description below. Go check him out. He just posted his first story time, so like he's still kind of getting into like the groove of things. He told me if you guys get him to 10K subscribers, he'll let me shave his head. So like if you guys could like please do that for me because like I really want to see what he looks like bald How did you find out you were pregnant? Okay, so this kind of ties in with the question of some people saying like what made you want to take a test? Like what gave you the idea like that you might have been pregnant and that's basically I went a little bit lucky at that I started acting very crazy I was crying over literally anything me and Anthony are like very hard not hard at each other But like we make very like mean jokes. And I'll be like bro like you just smell like shit right <laughs> Like, I know that's how we show love. That is our love language. Like, we love to just, like, be rude. And it works. I don't even know how to explain it. Like, I'm sure some of you are like, girl, like, I get it. Me and my boyfriend are, like, mean to each other. But it's out of love. It's not to, like, actually, like, make each other's feelings hurt. But now my feelings were starting to get hurt. And I was just crying over everything. And he's like, are you okay? I was like, I don't know. Like, I just, like, <laughs> crying over everything. Just being super dramatic. Um, like I said, a little bit loquita. Starting to go crazy a bit. And then my period missed. And I was like, okay hmm then I started having these like random crying spells but usually I get a crying spell before my period I don't know if any of you girls are like that either but like I know my period is coming when I'm just crying over nothing like I'll be watching like a random little animated short and I'll just be bawling my eyes out I'm like yep it's the time of the month but basically like I said it was just on like a whole nother level and I just started feeling like a little strange okay let's go ahead and take a test so I took one and that's where that photo that you guys saw in my announcement where I was literally just like it was such a shock. I literally fell to the floor. Like I peed on the stick. I walked outside of the bathroom and like right before getting to my bed, I looked at it and I literally collapsed. Oh my God. Like all dramatic. I was like, oh my God. This is not our first pregnancy. Um, I was actually pregnant in June, but I did have a miscarriage. I will talk about that in a whole nother video. I wanted to talk about it sooner because it does help me like heal a lot better when I get things off my chest. But this was one of those situations where like it actually really did traumatize me for a while. And it's still obviously like, it's a little bit of a sore subject. But a lot of you guys were asking me if I would be willing to talk about it just because I know that this happens to millions of women around the world every single year. And it would be nice to hear somebody else's experience, you know, just have like 
that reassurance that like, you know, it happens sometimes. What is your favorite thing about your pregnant body? You are so beautiful. Thank you. Uh, my favorite thing would probably have to be my titties. Um, you guys know I got my implants taken out in August. So I went from having literally double D's back to A cups and they were, you know, a little floppy. They were a little flat, a little loose. You know, I ended up pregnant a couple months later and now I'm back to basically having my implants again. But, like I have this girl on Twitter that I talk to all the time. Like she just had her baby recently. She told me she's like, get ready for the Hershey Kisses nipples. Like they're coming and they did. But yeah, like my boobies grew and big boobs. Child, anyways. Any baby names picked out? Of course I have my baby names picked out. Um, Denzel actually helped me one day. This was like, maybe like a month ago. I had no idea what I wanted to name my babies. Like I had the idea of naming my daughter Aria, but now I don't like the name anymore because I think of Aria and I think of like Areola. <laughs> I don't think that like anyone's gonna like bully my kid and be like Areola, Areola. But like, I'm gonna probably bully him. I'm just kidding. So he helped me out a little bit. I have like the full girl name and the full guy name. Me and Anthony have kind of been like stuck on this one name. It starts with an L. All I'm gonna say is if it's a girl, she's gonna be named after a character from Gossip Girl. And if it's a boy, um, it's, it's a surprise. Are you going to be doing a gender reveal? Yes, 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 I am. Probably gonna do something like here at my house and just like live stream it just because I actually am following the COVID protocols. Are you going to breastfeed or formula? Um, I'm gonna breastfeed for the first couple of months and then I might switch to formula or by then they're probably gonna be eating like regular baby food. Are you planning on dealing with stretch marks? I actually have this stuff called bio oil. I'm already starting to use it now because on my stomach, I'm starting to get like a very faint line, which is crazy because like my stomach isn't even like that, that big yet. So like, well, I mean, I don't know how big it's gonna get. So I don't know if like it's gonna be a big baby or not. I'm gonna have to deal with stretch marks. We'll have to see, but I'm already starting to put the bio oil on just in case like so I could prevent it make sure the skin is like nice and moisturized so when it does start stretching I have minimal stretch marks a lot of people are like are you scared of giving birth what are your thoughts on it are you scared of childbirth girl I am terrified I have seen it in person twice already the first time I was like 13 the second time I think I was like 15 so I've actually seen people give birth in person and yes it was very traumatizing and I kept turning away but my mom was like no you need to watch this it was my aunt by the way so it's not like I was in like a random room just like watching someone like push no, like it was my family that I was watching, but I definitely traumatized the girl quite a bit and I was like, okay, I'm definitely not gonna be like in this position anytime soon. Of course, I've seen like other videos on YouTube because you can actually watch people give birth on YouTube because it's considered an educational thing. So if you want to go and check that out, feel free to, um, I wouldn't. <laughs> I feel like in the moment, like I'm just gonna be in so much pain. I'm probably gonna end up getting an epidural and they're gonna numb the half of my body. I'm just gonna push and it's gonna be over with. I don't know. It'll be whatever. Like our bodies were made to do this at the end of the day. So like, that's the thought I keep telling myself, like I'm made to do this, I'm made to do this. Like on the days when like, it's just really, really hard. I'm like, it's okay. Like this is what I was actually like meant to do. So the people that were asking like, are you gonna do an epidural? I am definitely going to do an epidural if I have to. I would love to do a natural birth and not have to use anything. But like if the pain is so bad, I'm literally howling like a wolf. We're gonna have to do it. What are you most excited for after birth? Girl, I'm ready to spark it up. Like I'm not trying to have CPS at my door knocking like girl why are you fry like feed your baby like we're gonna take your kid i'm not trying to have problems i'm obviously not gonna you know be smoking while i'm like birth or birth i'm not gonna be smoking while i'm breastfeeding and all that because like i'm not trying to have my baby like absorb that i will probably eventually get back into that because that is something that i enjoy doing and you know it just relaxes me so a lot of you guys are also asking me what my due date is and all I'm gonna say is it's within the first two weeks of July and the reason I haven't said my due date like officially like which day it is is because there's a lot of wicked people out there and I'm a very superstitious person and I'm not gonna like put the date out there and like somebody's out here with bad wishes ill wishes against me it does mean that the baby is going to be a cancer which i don't really like believe in that stuff so much anymore because like i've met a lot of scorpios that are pussies and i've met a lot of gemini's that are really good people um inside and out so it's like i feel like you don't always really match your sign what gender are you hoping for are you close with the baby dad <laughs> y'all like y'all really must not watch my videos and keep up with me like yes i am with my baby dad <laughs> I'm hoping for a girl. Anthony wants a boy. We actually have, where is it at? When we found out that we were pregnant, we bought this little like Hot Wheels truck because he really wants a boy. So like he was trying to manifest that it would be a boy by buying that. But I just have this like really big idea in my head that like it's going to be a girl. I'm giving birth to a daughter. I will have a mini me. I've also been having dreams of like having a girl. So I don't know, but he's been having dreams of like having a, us having a boy. So like, 
I don't know, but I definitely want to have a daughter. But I mean, if I had a son first, that would also kind of work out because then he could like take care of like his younger siblings, like his sister or like little brother and stuff. The hardest thing you've had to deal with so far in your pregnancy. I would have to say that the hardest thing that I've had to deal with so far has been the morning sickness. Now, the way they make it seem is like, oh, like it's just a morning thing. No, your morning sickness can be all day and all night and just never ending. And for the first trimester of my pregnancy, I lost about 20 to 25 pounds. And you guys already know, like I'm a thin person. Me losing 20 to 25 pounds turns me into Slender Man and that's just really not it. Like I'm not about to hit the runway. So I'm just out here looking like this for fun. That kind of like killed me like a little bit inside because I was like, okay, like I'm losing all this weight. Like that's definitely not healthy for the baby. It was all because of the morning sickness because every single morning I would vomit. I would get up, drink some water, vomit that water up, try to eat some at lunch vomit up my lunch like and it was just a cycle of throwing up three to five times a day and this lasted i would say for about 10 weeks so it was not easy at all it was not a good journey and now at 17 and a half weeks i am barely starting to like wake up in the morning and not feel like i'm gonna puke my brains out but something that has been a lifesaver for me are tummy drops you can buy them they come in like a little canister you can get peppermint ones you can get ginger i also just recently got some new morning sickness drops they're downstairs i'm too lazy to go and get them also been something that i've been struggling with me losing my breath i lose my breath so easily like today as you can see i'm a chatterbox like i'm here i'm lit i'm ready to talk but like like, this is why the video has taken so long to get out because I have not been able to just get my words out at all because I just lose my breath and I feel like I'm gonna pass out every five seconds. Early pregnancy symptoms. So the early pregnancy symptoms I think would have to be like the morning sickness. I was waking up and puking. Like even when I was living in my old house at like five, six weeks pregnant, I was still having really bad morning sickness. Like this has been a reoccurring thing and an ongoing thing since the beginning, since I found out. You do vlogs with your kid. Of course I will tell of course. Like this is my, you know, my channel, my my life basically the way I film my videos is basically like what's going on in my life and the fact that you guys are interested and still like keep coming back and supporting me is amazing so like thank you so much for being here but, like of course I want to you know show you guys my kids and obviously I'm not gonna be sticking the camera in their face or forcing them to say and do things like the ace family does I'm sorry like the way they like that whole dynamic is disgusting to me I don't know if you guys have seen those videos where like they mess up and then like Austin gets so fucking mad at them and you could just see like the kids are so scared and confused. Like that stuff just like throws me off so bad. Like I'm not trying to sit here and run a show. Like it should just be your life that you're vlogging. Why are you like planning out words and like making a script? Cause I feel like a lot of these like YouTube family channels like like they're all super realistic in the beginning but I feel like they start making like money and they start getting like out of touch with reality. It's not appealing to me anymore. I like to watch smaller channels more these days with like their vlogs and just all that stuff because it feels more real. And a lot of people tell me they get that vibe from my channel, which I really love. Like, yes, it's nice. Like, I would love to see you like in your mansion and see you zooming around, but like, I'm not gonna sit here and watch a vlog of you like complaining about your Tesla. Oh my God, like, I don't know if I should get this $110,000 car, but like, he wants me to get this like 150 and like, I just don't know what to do. And it's like, it's just such a, and it's just such first world problems that are just so unrealistic and it's like girl like who are you trying to like have feel sorry for you like we are not all millionaires watching you i used to come to any food that you miss no i haven't so you guys know i love my spicy tuna like that is my favorite 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 food in the entire world like spicy tuna on crispy rice and that is the one sushi that they really don't want you to eat like you're not supposed to have any raw fish and that has kind of been like a struggle for me because getting fish in was basically like my easiest way of getting like protein and like my hair and just like that's why my hair would grow fast. So now I'm taking these supplements for the baby that like focus on like brain health and they have a lot of like folate in it which is going to make my hair grow so like I'm hoping I could like make up for that because not having like fish in my diet anymore which I hate tilapia, I hate salmon, I hate all those kinds of fishes. Um, I like yellowtail, but like I like it raw. I even like raw beef. I know that sounds so gross. Every time I tell people that, I'm like, oh, I love beef tartare or steak tartare. They think I'm the nastiest bitch. But if you ever go to like a good restaurant, like you will not Don't eat this stuff if you go to like a bootleg place down the street. Like this is the type of like situation where it's like you're only going to eat this like once in a lifetime type thing or like once in a while. So spend a little bit more money on it to make sure that you don't get sick because it is raw beef. They basically take like raw beef and they mix it with a couple of things. They crack like a raw egg on top of it. 
and then you like dip chips or like pita bread or little pieces of bread in there. I know some people are like, you are nasty, Vanessa, but I just think that is so delicious. So this is what I posted filming a pregnancy Q&A ask away and I didn't know what to post for the picture so I just randomly posted like this meme from Twitter and it's Sarah Paulson but somebody typed in screaming bitch from AHS. <laughs> So so many people in the comments are like don't disrespect Sarah Paul's and you know what her name is like I know what her name is. It's a meme from Twitter. What do your parents think? Well, my father's not in my life. My mother is though So I kind of told her first and then she kind of spread it amongst the family, but my mom's really excited um, My brother has a baby already. So this is not the first grandchild for her My brother actually had a baby at 19 which I thought was pretty crazy, but he's doing good for himself He's taking care of his son um, but yeah, my mom was definitely very surprised. She was excited. Um, there's no negativity at all in the family. And that also goes for Anthony's side of the family. They're very loving. They're a very wholesome, you know, Italian family. So I'm sure they're ready to, you know, welcome baby with open arms. How many times a day do you have to pee? Probably at least five times. Yeah, that's also because I have to drink a lot of water just to, you know, make sure, you know, baby's getting everything they need. Before, I'm gonna be honest, like, I'm into juices. Like, I don't know if you guys know that fruit punch from, um, is it from Welch's? I don't think it's from Welch's. Is it Mini Maid? Y'all, it's this one fruit punch. You could buy it in, like, a jug and it's, like, a bright magenta color if you buy it in the jug. I can sit there and just drink that, like, all day. Now I'm definitely getting all my waters in, I'm getting all my nutrients, I'm getting my agua. A lot of people are asking, was it planned? Um, no. All symptoms you've had, including ones that are TMI. Um, you really want to hear some nasty TMI stuff? The first one would probably have to be that I literally, like, crap my brains out, like, two or three times a day. Um, I don't know if it's because of pregnancy, but, like, my digestive system right now is just, like, moving at, like, the speed of lightning. So I find myself going through like a pack of toilet paper once a week. <laughs> so that's probably like the first one that's kind of nasty. Like if I don't like poop the second I wake up in the morning, like it just like ruins everything. What else has been like a bad symptom. Um, obviously I throw up almost every morning. Um, lately it's been getting a lot easier in the past like week or two. Um, but if I wake up in the morning and I cough too hard, I will puke. Like, even if I'm not feeling nauseous, I don't have to feel sick at all, but like, if I cough, like, <coughs> I'm going to throw up. So like, I have to like, just sit there and just try to breathe. Some scary symptoms that you might have had and are you scared of birth? I already answered the second one. But some scary symptoms, one of them actually happened yesterday and it actually really, really freaked me out. So I was sitting on the couch, you know, it was Jersey Thursday, I was watching Jersey Shore and just out of nowhere, I just started seeing stars on the side of like my vision. Like my peripheral vision was completely just like out. Like I could not see anything, like it was all blurry and I started to see like stars and it looked like there was like rings of light just like going everywhere and I was like, what is happening right now? Like I've never experienced that before. I've only passed out once in my life and that's when I used to work at Kohl's. I'm pretty sure I told that story time before. But like, I was just like, what the fuck is going on? Like what is all of this? So I went upstairs, I took my contacts off, I put my glasses on, I came back downstairs to continue watching it because y'all, I'm trying to see Adina and Angelina fight. Like Snooki left the show, it got whack. Jenny's a bully, Angelina's an annoying hamster, the situation is like 55, Polly D is like 62. <laughs> But like the show was so whack. Anyways, let me stop. Literally like I couldn't see anything. So I was like, you know what? Let me go right back upstairs. I took my glasses off. I laid there for like five minutes. Literally only five minutes. And the next thing I know, ding, 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 ding. Here comes Marcus calling me. I picked up the phone and I'm like sitting there with like my eyes closed. So like I answered it and I just left it there. And it's just silence. I look over to my phone and he goes, ah! And like screams into the fucking phone. Over here like trying to recover and he scares the shit out of me. Go subscribe to his channel. Would you consider doing an at-home birth? No, that is not an option at all just because sometimes there's complications and I don't want that to, you know, be a factor at all. I don't want to have the anxiety of like, oh, if I give birth at home and something might go wrong, oh, we'll just rush over to the hospital. No, because I went to the hospital two weeks ago just because I was feeling kind of funny, which I'm fine, you guys. While I was there, this lady came in, in labor, and they're like, we're sorry, we don't have a room for you. We don't have any room. Like, it's packed back there. So they just had her in the lobby. And, like, I went in, I came out, she's still in. They're like, oh. Like, this lady is, like, struggling over here, and they don't have any room for her. So I'd rather just book my, you know, room in the maternity ward or whatever it's called. 
and just have it like ready for me and just not have to worry about that because if something happens and we have to rush into the hospital and they don't have any room for me or my baby like that's really concerning i don't know if you guys saw this on tiktok recently but everyone's been saying that like nurses you were either like a really nice sweet girl like so you just genuinely want to help people but mainly nurses are all like the mean girls from high school is that true a lot of people were saying that it's like the equivalent of like guys going into like the police force so they could have like that power over people but i don't know i feel like that's a little extra what do you think? Were you pregnant when you got your fake boobs out? I don't know how far along you are. No, I wasn't pregnant at the time. That was in August. Um, I got my last period in the beginning of October, I think, or the end of September, one of those. <laughs> Bitch, I'm high. I just want to say congratulations, love. <laughs> Thank you. Are you thinking of naming the baby after a family member? <laughs> To do all no, my child will not be named after anybody <laughs> that is in my family um, or the boyfriend's family. But that's, I only know his like grandparents and his dad. So, like, I don't really know everybody else yet to even know any like names. So, maybe for all we know, like, the girl will have like the same name as someone in his family. But the name that I picked out is for sure not used by any of my family members. And that's not even being shady. Like, I don't like y'all. Sorry. Like, I'm sorry, like, blood does not run thick, like, at all. A couple of people are also asking, are you still having sex while pregnant? Like, is it weird having a baby in there and, like, doing the do? Um... <laughs> all I'm gonna say is, my tang is still tanging! <laughs> um, it's still tanging, it's still flinging, it's still being thrown, it's still being caught. Um, and yes, I do think it will be weird later on in my pregnancy when like I have like this big ass belly in the way But right now like it's not so much in the way if anything It just looks like I ate like five bowls from Chipotle and I'm just really fucking bloated So it's not really in the way But I do be having moments of feeling insecure because I'm like, oh my gosh Like my belly ain't all flat flat no more now. I'm very on bloated bloated I guess he loves me or whatever and he makes me feel comfortable or whatever Are you worried that you will end up with two vaginas? Um, that actually happened to my mom and she told me that she thinks they didn't even sew her up properly the first time so that <laughs> Current faith things about being pregnant least favorite. I'm 35 weeks right now and over it. Congratulations girl You're almost done. You literally have like five weeks left. They also said why does no one talk about the excessive amount of discharge? Okay when you are pregnant this isn't so much a problem as much in your first trimester like half of your first trimester maybe towards like the other half of the end of it so maybe around like eight weeks and on it becomes an issue well at least for me it was now i actually have to wear a pad in my underwear i'm not bleeding or anything but like the discharge is so much like you're gonna feel like you wet yourself that was never like a problem for me before i know some women have more discharge than others but like that was just never a thing for me we're getting tmi again i should have included this in the tmi part as well but like now if i don't put a pad in like i have to change my underwear sometimes like halfway throughout the day i forget to put one on but yeah it definitely gets gushy down there <laughs> what prenatals are you taking love so before i was just taking like the generic like nature made ones like the gummies and now i'm actually taking the one a day triple brain support so like it's actually two pills you have to take it's a little white one and then this like giant ass red one i hate taking them i haven't even taken it for the day yet and i don't want to i hate swallowing pills but apparently you know it has all this really good stuff in it for babies so how much pain are you in right now i am in zero pain right now i actually feel really good for some reason which is kind of suspicious but and I haven't even ate today yet, so I don't know how I'm like not freaking out. Wait, yes I did. Bitch, I had a whole breakfast sandwich, a hash brown, a muffin, a banana. <laughs> like, what am I talking about? Also another pregnancy symptom, pregnancy brain. It's like I forget what I'm doing after like one second. I'll start a conversation and just instantly forget what I'm talking about. And I already had that problem before because I was a stoner before my pregnancy. I already have like short-term memory problems, I think, and now the pregnancy is just making it even worse because apparently your brain like shrinks or something and it stops producing as much brain cells. So you start kind of like acting a little like loopy and start, you know, doing things a little off. Another really weird symptom is that like, I feel like my joints and my ligaments are loose. So I was literally sitting there eating a bowl of cereal and out of nowhere, it's like my hand just gave out and I just dropped my cereal on me. <laughs> So I looked at it on this app, I have the what to expect app where they basically just like 
get into like a bunch of you know pregnancy things like there's discussion boards there's groups there's like advice and all that and i guess that is a symptom of you know your second trimester of where i'm at right now my pregnancy like you just get really like loose and you just start dropping stuff so i thought that was kind of weird going back to the sexy time question um how is sexy time different it's definitely a lot more pressure it doesn't feel exactly the same as it did before like you can feel like something is right there and now i'm at the point where like my stomach doesn't go like like i can't suck it in like it's stuck there so that's kind of like just in the way a little bit but it's not like excuse me anything excessive yet to where like we're like oh my god like this is weird <laughs> Did you consider an abortion the first time around? Um, no. When I was actually pregnant for the first time back in May, June-ish time of the summer, last year, 2020, no, that never crossed my mind at all. If anything, we were just really excited and just going with the motions of things, and we were only able to be pregnant for a couple of weeks before I ended up miscarrying. And then when I found out I was pregnant again, I was like, okay, cool. I mean, I was definitely terrified. Um, I had that anxiety of like, oh my gosh, like what if that happens again? Like, cause this is considered my rainbow baby. But like, I don't know, like I had those thoughts of like, okay, like I'm broken. I like stamped myself like in a negative way as like some broken person that like, oh, I can't have kids, which like there's a, that doesn't make you broken. I don't know. I definitely got really like, I got nervous. I everybody's entitled. I'm very pro-choice. Like do what you want with your body. Like you are the one that's going to be carrying the child. You're the one that's going to be raising it for 18 years. You're the one that's going to have them in your life until you die and until they do. So like if that's something you want to go through with, then do it, girl. Like whatever it is, I support everybody's decisions and I hate that like that shit is so regulated and controlled by like men and it's like y'all don't even have anything to do with it like does it ever creep you out knowing you have a literal human growing inside of you at first it didn't freak me out but at my last ultrasound about two weeks ago i actually was able to see the baby's rib cage and everything and that definitely freaked me out i was like okay like i grew bones inside of me <laughs> Like, I know, like, I have, like, my own bones and stuff, but, like, I'm, gr I literally grew bones. Like, how, like, how did I grow? Like, <laughs> like, the baby just keeps getting bigger and bigger, and now apparently the baby's, like, this big. So, he in there like this. Can you feel the baby inside of you yet, and does it move? So, in the past week, I've slowly started to be able to feel the baby. I had my hand on my stomach, and I was just kind of, like, leaning forward, putting pressure, and I started to feel, like... Like it felt like an elbow just going like, I I don't know. Maybe it was a tube, maybe it was a fart and it was stuck and it was trying to squeeze through some tubes. I don't know, but like it genuinely felt like something went like. <laughs> the trash is back. This is the third time they have come back. They are really trying to tell me something. I'm gonna talk over the trash. I'm sorry. Hopefully I can put sneaky snitch in the background. Dun, 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 and you don't hear that. Have you been so quiet on it all? Only what you feel comfortable saying, of course. So the reason I've been more quiet about my pregnancy obviously is because I did lose my first pregnancy and I didn't want to and I was going to announce that one like I was super excited like I already wanted to open my mouth and I'm glad I didn't because then I would have had to make the video explaining the loss and all that which I know that I'm gonna still make that video because a lot of girls are like I would love for you to speak on that because it does happen to a lot of women and it is reassuring to hear other women go through it. How did you get pregnant? How do you feel about maternity clothes? I'm actually gonna do a video trying maternity clothes for the first time. I'm gonna actually go and buy some. Today, we were supposed to go and like pick out the flooring for the house because I wanna get that done before baby's here and just have that all like situated. Now I'm kind of on the vibe of like wanting to go and like look at baby stuff. I haven't bought one baby item. I am, I don't know why. Oh my God, why do I feel like crying? I just have this like really weird anxiety that like if I buy something I <sighs> had this really irrational anxiety and paranoia that if I buy something for the baby I'm going to have another <laughs> miscarriage because last time I got really excited and I bought something and it happened right afterwards so that just kind of like traumatized me and it made me think oh girl <laughs> like the way I just made myself feel better like hi 
Um, but it kind of like traumatized me, so that's why I haven't purchased anything yet. No maternity clothes. I haven't purchased any like baby toys, but like that's why I haven't purchased anything yet. So today I'm kind of in the mood to go out and like buy stuff. So we'll see. I'm scared about your boyfriend's reaction because I'm scared for mine. Um, not really. Like. I think if this would have happened with anybody else I was in a relationship, I would have definitely like been really scared and like terrified. But I feel like this is that one relationship where I, I don't know, like I've never been this way with somebody before. Like I've never felt so comfortable naked. And I don't just mean like physically, just like even mentally, just like he has seen me break down. He has seen me in like my worst, but he's also seen me in my best and like, I don't know, I've never been like this with someone, literally. I've never loved somebody the way that I loved him, and I know he loves me too, so I wasn't like scared telling him, because I knew that like regardless of what we decided to do, he would support me. Do you want to have more kids after this one? So he wants us to have like three. I don't know yet, because like obviously like we don't even know what it's like raising one. I feel like in movies, and even just from word of mouth, and the way people like depict it, is like it's just this positive, like amazing experience, but it's actually been pretty miserable for me. So it's like, do I want to go through this again? In the past, I was like, oh, I'm going to have like five kids. I want to have all these kids. But now like seeing how it really is, I'm like, wait. And I'm not even in like the worst part of it. Like I don't even have to have like, like I don't have the big belly where I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to carry this baby around. Like my back hurts all the time. I'm slowly starting to get back pain in like my lower back area. But I don't know. I don't know. A lot of you guys are asking me if I'm going to be like a smoker stoner mom. Um, I'm definitely going to still like smoke later on But I want to wait until it's to the point where like we don't have to be checking on the baby every three hours Like they sleep through the night and like if I wanted to go and like take a hit from a joint Like it's okay if I fall asleep for a couple hours I don't want to you know like the baby's asleep at 1 a.m. And then I go and like take a bowl or something and then like I knock out and I don't hear the baby crying And it's like I wake up at 4 and the baby's been crying for two hours like I don't know I just don't want to have like my brain not a hundred percent especially when like i have a newborn is it hard having to be sober i would miss weed so bad we'll end it off with that question because a lot of people are asking me about like weed and stuff um it definitely has been hard like in the first like i would say eight weeks of my pregnancy especially since like we had to stay in a hotel before i was able to finish closing on this house we were just like stuck in there not able to do anything i was out of my loop like i'm withdrawing in there but also having pregnancy symptoms so it probably made it all worse yes i do believe you withdraw from weed like you start struggling with your sleep it's not like you know a pill or something but like you can't sleep you can't eat as properly like just things kind of get thrown off so it was definitely a little hard um but i also feel like at the same time this is a little short story i feel like the baby kind of like saved me in a way because before i was pregnant i stopped smoking flour and my concentrates and i got into dabs like hardcore like going and spending like 200 dollars on like a gram of diamonds and shatter and crumble and like going like multiple times a week and just buying it and buying it and doing dabs and dabs and i just kind of got in like this weird loop of like not getting addicted to them but like that's all we were doing just smoking dabs and i would you know still keep up with my videos and stuff but like that's all i was doing and i think that also made it even harder for the withdrawals because i was doing such like intense like stuff i wasn't you know just smoking a little bowl or a, a joint here and there no like we were sitting there with like our nectar collector or like our dab ring and just like smoking it up all the time having to just like stop completely because like especially in your first trimester i know there are some can of moms and there's some women that you know smoke throughout their pregnancy but like especially with like dabs and all that crazy stuff like i just feel like that's the recipe for disaster so we're gonna go ahead and stop there even though there's already like a million more questions to answer but that's it for today's video oh how i wish this was just my natural hair <laughs> So many people were telling me like, Vanessa, during your pregnancy, like your hair is going to grow so fast. So tell me why my hair is falling out. <laughs> so, so that's why I invested in some extensions because my hair is falling out right now. Um, that's, that's nice. Thank you for all your well wishes. If you don't follow me already on Instagram, it's at simplynessa15. I can't wait for you guys to see my merch when it comes out. It's going to be really cute. It's going to be streetwear inspired. So no, it's not about to be a t-shirt that says like coffee, love, joy, enjoy. Okay, that's it. I'm babbling too much and I love you guys and I'll see you all later. Bye.